Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Imagine you're deciding between buying a new iPhone or saving for a family trip, or a company is choosing between investing in new equipment or hiring additional staff. These kinds of decisions are at the core of microeconomics, which helps us understand how choices affect prices and resource allocation. So, what exactly is microeconomics? What core topics does it cover? Why is it important to study? What skills will you develop? In this video, I will discuss these questions with you. Section 1. Definition. Microeconomics is the branch of economics that focuses on the behavior and decision-making processes of individual units within the economy, such as households, firms, and industries. It examines how these entities interact in markets, how they respond to changes in prices, and how they allocate resources. At its core, microeconomics is concerned with understanding how choices are made under conditions of scarcity, where resources are limited and must be allocated among competing uses. Section 2. Topics. The major topics in microeconomics include the following. Number 1. Supply and demand. Supply and demand are the fundamental forces in a market that determine the price and quantity of goods and services. Supply reflects how much producers are willing to sell at various prices, while demand shows how much consumers are willing to buy. Prices rise or fall based on the balance between supply and demand, guiding the allocation of resources in the economy. Number 2. Consumer behavior. Consumer behavior explores how individuals make purchasing decisions to maximize their satisfaction or utility, given their budget constraints. It involves understanding preferences and trade-offs, as consumers choose between different goods and services to achieve the greatest overall happiness within their financial limits. Number 3. Production and Costs. Production and costs focus on how firms combine inputs like labor and materials to produce goods and services efficiently. Understanding the relationship between fixed and variable costs helps firms determine the most cost-effective level of production, influencing their pricing and output decisions to maximize profit. Number 4. Market structures. Market structures describe the organization of markets, ranging from perfect competition with many firms and identical products, to monopoly, where a single firm controls the market. Each structure affects how firms set prices and output, with varying levels of competition influencing consumer choices and market efficiency. Number 5. Market failures. Market failures occur when markets do not allocate resources efficiently on their own, often due to externalities, public goods, or market power. These failures lead to socially undesirable outcomes, such as pollution or underprovision of public goods, and often require government intervention to correct and achieve a more efficient allocation of resources. Section 3. Importance. Learning microeconomics is critical for the following reasons. Number 1. Informed decision-making, understanding microeconomics helps individuals and businesses make more informed decisions about spending, saving, and investing by analyzing costs, benefits, and market conditions. For example, when deciding on a new car purchase, microeconomics helps you assess total ownership costs, including fuel efficiency, maintenance, and depreciation. This analysis ensures you select a vehicle that provides the best long-term value based on these factors. Number 2. Economic literacy, it provides insights into how prices are set, how supply and demand interact, and how different market structures impact competition and consumer choices, enhancing overall economic literacy. For example, if the price of smartphones increases, microeconomics explains how shifts in supply and demand influence this price change, helping you understand why prices fluctuate and how market conditions affect everyday purchases. Number 3. Policy understanding, knowledge of microeconomics aids in understanding and evaluating the impact of economic policies, such as taxes and subsidies, and their effects on markets and individuals. For example, if a government imposes a tax on sugary drinks, microeconomics helps you predict how this tax might raise prices, reduce consumer demand, and impact public health by discouraging sugary drink consumption. Number 4. Problem-solving skills, it develops analytical skills to tackle real-world economic issues, from personal finance to business strategies, by applying concepts like marginal analysis and cost-benefit evaluation. For example, a business owner contemplating expansion uses microeconomic analysis to evaluate the potential increase in marginal costs versus expected marginal revenue, guiding a decision that aims to maximize profit and align with business objectives. Number 5. Strategic Insights 
For businesses, microeconomics offers strategic insights into market dynamics, competition, and pricing strategies, helping in developing effective business plans and achieving competitive advantage. For example, a restaurant chain setting menu prices uses microeconomic principles to analyze competitors' pricing, consumer preferences, and cost structures, helping them set prices that attract customers while ensuring profitability. Section 4. Core Skills To learn microeconomics effectively, several key skills are essential. Number 1. Analytical Thinking Microeconomics requires the ability to analyze complex situations and break them down into simpler components. This involves understanding relationships between variables, such as how changes in price affect supply and demand. Number 2. Quantitative skills. Basic mathematical skills, including algebra and calculus, are important for working with economic models, interpreting graphs, and solving equations that describe economic behavior. These skills help in understanding concepts like elasticity, marginal analysis, and optimization. Number 3. Critical thinking. The ability to evaluate different perspectives and question assumptions is crucial in microeconomics. Critical thinking allows you to assess the implications of economic policies, market outcomes, and the impact of different market structures on welfare. Number 4. Graphical interpretation. Microeconomics relies heavily on graphical models to illustrate concepts such as supply and demand, consumer surplus, and market equilibrium. Being able to interpret and draw graphs accurately is vital for visualizing economic relationships and changes in the market. Number 5. Logical reasoning. Logical reasoning is essential for understanding cause and effect relationships in microeconomics. It helps in following the logical flow of arguments, making inferences, and understanding the implications of different economic decisions. Section 5. Summary. To sum up, microeconomic studies how individuals and firms make decisions about resource allocation and how these choices shape markets and prices. It is essential to understand because it provides insights into market dynamics, informs economic policy, and helps individuals and businesses make better financial decisions, ultimately improving economic efficiency and outcomes. Alright, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your thoughts in a comment below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.